Sorry about that. How's it going? I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasting. Don't make me laugh right before we okay. go recording times. Uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in to Multicasting. Thumbs up if you like us, thumbs down if you don't like me, and I appreciate your subscription to the channel. Yes. Mighty kind of you. We're going to have a cool day today. It's the rise of the robots, Jean. Dying, we going to a movie? The extended cut. Dying. That's right. Cast strength. Uh, if you've not heard of Film Land, you're getting a heavy pour there, apparently. I guess I am. If you've not heard of Film Land Distillery, they are doing some awesome things because they make their bottles look like a movie poster. And I'm going to tell you, it's the best marketing job I've seen of any whiskey ever. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Oh, it's phenomenal. This, this, it's, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this the thumbnail for the video. That's how cool that thing is. I don't usually do that. Uh, but yeah, they're, um, this is a rye whiskey. It is bottled at 54% ABV, 108 proof. Uh, Jean, do we know the age on this? We know that it is five years old. Five and years it's old. 95.5. Right. Five. Yeah, 95. Uh, oh, it says it right here. Guess I didn't even ask it. 95% rye, 5% malted barley. Uh, Rise of the robots, five years old. Uh, number four char, and uh, this is rated for those 21 years age and up. Because <laughs> it's rated R, but they did a 21 age statement. <laughs> Yeah, that's I funny. I can't say enough about their marketing and the uh, illustrations on the bottle. It's phenomenal. Hey, you know how else you can tell it's a rye? How, Jean? How? Doing that. Doing that. What's what you get on the nose there, Jean Marie? Oh man, I get a rye. I what? Get, I get some freaking rye nuts. Uh, I'm I not got, trying to get a rye out of you here. I got, I got rye Ooh. on the right nostril, and I got rye on the left nostril. What'd you get on the middle one? I got spearmint, I got clove, I got I got fresh baked ham. It's a bit of while. Right out of the oven with the clove. You know, oh. you ever make the, the clove into the ham? Hmm. You just shove them in there. I've never done that once in my entire life. Well, that's how I make my hams when I make a ham. We've been married for going on over a decade, Gene, and I can tell you with full confidence you never once made a ham like that. Well, it's because I don't cook for you. <laughs> so that begs the question. Who do you cook for? I don't have to anymore. Oh. You know, he does all the cooking. I like to sit around and drink. Don't spoil your wife, hey guys. <laughs> talk for a second. If you spoil your wife, she'll throw it in your face. Just saying, don't do it. Don't you do it. Anything in the you, face? you gotta make the women work for work, work for the affection. Never mind. You're wrong. She's right. Figure it out, man. What are you doing? <laughs> Figure it out. Yes, it's been a while since we've had a punchy in the face ride. Ah, great nose. And there's also, there's some white chocolate. Like I got a, I got a white mm. chocolate Easter bunny with my spearmint and clove. White chocolate Easter bunny or an Easter bunny that's made out of white chocolate? Fresh raspberries. Fresh raspberries. <laughs> Fresh raspberries. Uh, clove, clove is the predominant note I'm salivating. Yeah. And clove is my favorite thing to get on a rice. My absolute favorite note. Fresh raspberry, dark chocolate, dark cherry cordial, white chocolates there, fudge. Ooh. I'm going in. Have a go in. There's um, it's really concentrated too. It's like a concentrated spearmint. Yo, yo, right? Damn, that's freaking full flavor. Wow. You know, some whiskeys yet. There's dark cherry, blueberry, raspberry. Well, some rise you get, some whiskey you get, like, ah, it's okay. I need more. Nope, it's all there. Full flavored. Wow. I'm about to go back in for the whole experience. I feel like, you know, that, that commercial where you, you, you eat that peppermint patty? Yes, I was thinking the exact same thing. Because it's just so much concentrated. You got some fog coming out of your mouth. It's just like I just drank some scope, but wonderful tasting chocolate mint scope. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, I tell you, you could freshen your breath with this. This is, and the and it's and it's Man. got peppers, and the finish is long. It's a really long finish. If memory serves, they source. I don't know where they source from. Award-winning rye. Number four char. I don't remember if they make their own. Are they a not? If you know out there, are they a non distilling producer? Do they source? They make their own stuff here. I don't remember. Man, uh, opens up full flavored. Punches in the face with raspberry, strawberry, blueberry, fudge, mm. clove, mm. spearmint, mm. 
um, transitions mm. into, kind of ramps up a little bit. For me, transitions into like a, a raspberry paste with cloves and chocolate. And the finish is just a dynamite spearmint. Mm. For me. Mm -hmm. For Eugene. Yeah, I, I, wow. I, was, I was riding that roller coaster as you were explaining it. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, that's true. All of that's true. And he ain't making none of that up. That's, that is spot on. He's spot on right there. Spotted you right there. I tell you. The finish is just still going for me. I mean, like, yeah, it's it just yeah. still going. Well, it's, it's a that super Energizer long. Bunny. It's got his Energizer batteries in. And they might be a couple days old, but they're still going, you know? It would be awkward if he had Duracell batteries in. <laughs> you know what? You should, you should try and find that bunny and just have it go across the screen. Can you do that? Probably. We'll see what happens. How <laughs> will remember. Oh, man. Water cranks up the spearmint. It's like uh, the what's the the green laffy taffy uh, not laffy taffy uh, saltwater taffy the, the uh, spearmint what yeah spearmint spearmint there laffy taffy. There is so much spearmint in here. Saltwater taffy. I, it's like they took it's it's like they took the spearmint leaves and just mm. put them down in the whiskey. Mm -hmm. They should have. I don't know why they don't do that. Wow. Okay, with water, it's softened. It kind of eliminated all my chocolate, my berry notes, and now it's just kind of predominantly clove and spearmint. I like the better neat. Mm. I like the nose better with water. I like the palate better neat. This is straight up all clove for me. All wow. of it. But in a delightful way. I mean, I'm here for it. A blockbuster and everybody. I can just, I can, I cannot get over the, the label here. The label's just. Yeah, it's pretty neato. Phenomenal. Combining whiskey and uh, rye whiskey and movies, they need to offer me. Filmland, you need to offer me a job. How about I do your YouTube stuff for you just so I can be a part of this creativity? Um, I'm doing a 91, Gene. What'd you do? I did an 89. It's a 91. But it, it is close to a 90. I, I, I very easily crossed that over to a 90. Hell yeah. It is scrumptious. There's nothing non scrumptious about it. I am, this, this is a weak 92, a solid 91 for me. Mm. Um, a price was paid for this. Um, and now this, there's a one price point, I believe the regular Rise of the, Rise of the Robots, I think is $65, 59 to $65. This is the extended version, the cast strength, the foolproof. I wanna say it's $90, what, what do we oh, pay for? MSRP's for 85. 85. But what? you got it for 72. I got it for 72. Yeah. MSRP is for 85. Uh, I got it for 72. Absolutely hands down freaking worth it. Yeah. 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 I feel like I'm more excited about this rye than you. No, you know, it's, it's good. I'm just, I was, I, like that. I was like, how the hell did you get it for 72? But you got that 10% discount. And I'm like, 85? Still doesn't come down to 72, even 10%. You're just doing math. I was, doing math. I was doing, I was doing math. So they say you're supposed to get cast strength rye, mint and oak on the nose and tongue with notes of chocolate maple cream and a long robust finish. It does have that. It hints at fresh baked sourdough. Uh, enjoy with a drop of water. Uh, this sophisticated blend. Oh, it's a blend. Oh, it's an 855 is sure to uh, mobilize humans and robots alike. Who are the actors on the side there? Are they deal stillers? Okay, no, they are characters. So this is the rise of the robots, uh -huh. right? Let's play on rise, the word rise. Yeah, I get that. Right? Yeah. And these are, this is a movie poster. So they've made their own characters for the movie. These aren't real people. Oh, they're just, they're Yeah, made up it just tells, it tells a story. Okay. Tells a story. I thought maybe they were the distillers that picked out the blend or whatever. No, Courtney Winters is a bartender turned hero. Uh, Jose, nope, Joss, Joss Piles? I don't know, that's hard to read, but. Yeah, uh, gray letters on black background. Well, it'd be fine without the lights kind of are glaring on it. Uh, anyway. Worth it. Worth it, indeed, worth it. Worth it. Anything left to add? No. Uh, appreciate your subscription to the channel and doing all those things you're supposed to do to help a YouTube channel grow. I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. And I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. It's pretty nice.
Marry me. 